our face. What's going on? Um, we're here today. We're going to talk a little bit about 10 points of recovery and um, basically what it is we want in life. You know, um, you know, so I could come in and I could ask a room full of uh, children, kindergartners, you know, what do you want? All hands shoot up. Um, it'd be amazing some of the stuff they come up with, right? Because um, how kids are still got that imagination and everything. Um, and a lot of us, we still have wants, but the problem a lot of times comes in when we begin to believe that we can't have those things that we want. You know, um, we look at the problems that we got now, you know, um, some of the things we try to solve playing plan my recovery services, you know, dereliction, the drug addiction, the crime, the gang, the, all these different kinds of things like that. Um, the vagrancy, you know, able-bodied people, young people, um, we just walk the streets aimlessly. They ain't doing nothing with themselves. Um, and um, we look at them like, well, we want to brush them off and we want to pass them off. Um, and we think it is, we think it is about this tough law. You know, they need a swift kick in the rear or, you know, we need to force. But um, what I've come to understand is that, um, and especially as a person who went through that, went through some of that stuff, is that when, uh, when we demonize those people, when we look down on people that's trying but can't seem to get it right, and we see them taking advantage of resources or taking advantage of the system and settling. Because, you know, like I said, we all want things. Basically, we all want a better life. We all want resources. We all want to have a nice job, make a little more money, have a nice car, have a nice place to lay your head, you know. But when we see people who can't seem to get it together, manipulating or taking advantage of the system, most of the time what we see is them settling for less. You know, and so when you demonize them, it's like you just push them further into that way of seeing things. You give a man a monstrosity, you know, and that's what happens with force. See, a lot of people think that force is the way the world works. You know, we think that the way the world works is by hard struggle, and by making things happen, and, and all these different kinds of things. You try, try, try again, bump your head, get up, and just keep trying the same old thing, right? And when that doesn't work, you resort to manipulation, deception, trickery, because we're going to try to make things happen. But the truth of the matter is, is that the world does not work like that. The world actually conflicts like that. We try to force things to happen. We only create more friction and more problems for ourselves. And so it's the same thing with these, uh, a lot of these recovery-based programs. You know, we get people, they go through incarceration, they get locked up, they get in trouble, and we put them in these programs where these ideologies are forced on them. And the only thing, they the only recourse you've got is to, you know, abide, concede to it. Because you're in jail, you're in treatment, you're on probation, you know. And they're right there to tell, them, tell you, okay, well, you are way up and work. What you want is not what you can have. Okay, if you do exactly what we say and abide by these ideas and these principles, then you can get what we have for you, what we have for you. And that creates more misery. That's what it does. You know, we get clean because what happens is we get clean, we get back on our feet, we get some things going, and life becomes one day at the point. You get bored with it. And the reason why you get bored is because you're not living your purpose. You're not living for that thing that you wanted, you know. Um, we all come into the world 
or something that we're good at, something that we're naturally inclined to do. We all want something, just like with those kids. All those kids wanted something, you know. And so, um, what the Tim Floyd stuff recovery is about, what playing my recovery services is about, what playing my recovery services is about is about finding unconventional means of solving these problems through unconventional methods. And what the 10 points of recovery is about getting you back, it's not about force. It's not about we trying to force or anybody forcing some ideas or opinions about who you are onto you. It's about taking it back to the essence of who you are and what you really want out of life and helping you find out how to do that, you see. Because uh, our philosophy is basically this. Um, the world doesn't work by force. The world conflicts by force. We try to force those ideas and those opinions. You get arguments. You get resentments. You get fights. That's how wars start. The world actually works through agreements. The world works through handshakes. The world works through mutual understanding. You see what I'm saying? That's how things get built. That's how organizations persist. And so, um, the plan is just to, you know, build a better uh, relationship within the community with some of these people that's getting written off um, because it's a drain on resources. We keep writing people off. We keep uh, acting as if they're hopeless or they just can't, you know. Um, then what it becomes is a bill. Whether if they're incarcerated, whether they're on probation, whether they're uh, 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 breaking laws, um, the treatment, you know, the treatment industry is, is, is another thing altogether. You know, we pay for addicts doing, uh, doing what they have to do to get high. Then we send them the treatment, and you have to pay for treatment. Taxpayers pay for treatment. But then when we come home, they got this thing where you give drugs to replace the drugs. You know, because you were a heroin addict, now we're going to give you methadone. Or we're going to give you Suboxone. Or we're going to give you another drug to replace the drug that you was using. Well, who pays for all that? Well, see, with the 10 points of recovery, is here to teach you how to unlock that potential that you have. Because when you came into the world, you didn't come into the world hooked on a drug. We didn't have heroin or cocaine or marijuana or alcohol shooting through our veins and our bloodstream. That's not how we operate. We're not designed to operate like that. So if that's the tr if that's true, then um, there's got to be a way, you know. And not only is there a way for you to maintain without those substances, but you're actually better off because they're toxic. And once we understand that, once we understand uh, who we are and get in tune with who we are, we can uh, uh, function better. We think more clearly. And we're able to do better for ourselves and eventually give back to the community. So that's what, you know, it's all about here. That's what uh, we're doing. You know. If there's any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Anybody got some questions? Okay. Well, that's what's up, man. And, um, you know, playing my recovery services, um, follow the page. Um, get in contact if there's something that you uh, want to ask you out there, if there's any questions you want to um, ask or any comments you want to make or, or if you want to help out the cause, if you can donate, if you can donate your time, resources, or, or money, um, anything would be much appreciated so we can start, you know, getting a move on and turning some of these things around. With that, man, we'll cut it short. Y'all have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.